So today we're going to be taking a look at our must-have list of hockey products to use while you're outside. We all know how important it is to train on the ice, but we all get very limited time. So to maximise on our ability to be able to develop in skill and also in confidence, we need to make sure that we're taking our training outside to our homes, to parks, to fields, just like the one that we're in right now. So let's take a look at our top list of favourite products to use off the ice. The first product on our list is going to be the Mars Blade. What the Mars Blade is, it's an inline training tool with a split chassis design that helps players to replicate the feeling, movement and motions of being on the ice, off the ice on their inline skates. Which is going to be fantastic for anyone that wants to be able to maximise on their training time away from the rink and be able to transition that perfectly back onto the ice. The next one on the list is going to be the Hockey Wraparound, which is a must have for any hockey player regardless of age or skill level. And what it is, it's a blade protector that sits on the hockey stick's blade on the base to lift the hockey stick up so it's not in contact with the ground or rough surfaces that you're training on. So in other words, what it allows you to do is take your expensive composite hockey stick and train on any rough surface without ruining the stick. Definitely going to be a must have. Now last summer I took a look at the Hockey Wraparound, but it was the original model, which is now called the Hockey Wraparound 2.0. This is used for again protecting your stick blade. You can practice stick handling and light passing with it. They also have the Hockey Wraparound Pro, which is for light shooting, stick handling and passing. And now the one that's been really popular and my personal favourite is the Wraparound Trainer, which is for pretty much anything. So you can do your slap shots, backhands, whatever you want to practice this thing can handle. If you want more information about these things, the links will be down below so you can find out more about each model and of course a link to be able to pick them up. And we'll include a coupon code so you can save some money when you buy one. Next on the list and one of our favourites is going to be the Green Biscuit. Now this is an off-ice training puck that you can use pretty much on any rough surface and it slides just like a puck on the ice, which means you can take a game pretty much anywhere. Most recently, Green Biscuit introduced a few new models. The most recent one is the Green Biscuit Alien, which lights up in the dark so you can use it when it's slightly darker outside or even at night time, which is kind of cool. They also have the Green Biscuit Pro, which is for stick handling and creates a slightly more like puck-like feel. They have the Green Biscuit Snipe, which is a darker shade of green. That one's used for shooting and also stick handling and passing and then the original Green Biscuit, which is for light passing and stick handling. Our personal favourite has always been the original Green Biscuit because the puck's flawless. Another one of our personal favourites, and because of how diverse it is, is what makes it onto this list, is the Swedish wooden stick handling ball. It's a wooden ball, as the name suggests, that's two ounces in weight, so it's much lighter than a hockey puck, but it's great for working on those fast twitch muscles, stick handling pretty much anywhere. I use it inside the house, in the kitchen, in the living room while I'm watching TV, wherever I can wherever I think I want to play some hockey or wherever I feel like playing hockey, which is the great thing about it. Another one of our favourite products is the Sweet Hand Stick Handling Balls. The great things about these hockey balls is that they come in three different weights. One slightly lighter than a puck, which is great for building again those fast twitch muscles and being able to build confidence with your stick handling. The next one up is more similar or um, realistic to a puck's weight, which makes your training a little bit more game applicable and you're able to transfer the skill sets that you develop with it directly onto the ice. The last one and the most heaviest, is way heavier than a puck and it's made from metal unlike the other two which are made from plastic. This one's called the muscle ball and it's great for building the strength that you need to be able to move the puck around the ice. So this is definitely going to be a must have for anyone that's looking to build their stick handling confidence and also build the muscle that's required to be able to move the puck confidently on the ice. Next on the list is going to be the hockey saucer kit and also the sauce toss. Now what this product is, is a game as well as a training aid which is what makes it so fun because you don't actually realise that you're practising skills but you're having fun and also developing key skills to transfer back onto the ice. The hockey saucer kit consists of two small nets with a ramp and the idea is to source the puck from one end of one net into the other. So the idea is to challenge each other to see who has the best accuracy and who has source. Great products to use to develop your sourcing ability, passing, accuracy and also soft hands. The source toss again is a similar concept, slightly different construction but the idea behind this one is that it has two nets. Now the great thing about this is it adds a little bit more competitiveness to the game. Because not only is there one net for you to get the puck into, but there's a much smaller net central to the first net. Which basically means that you're working a lot harder to be a lot more accurate with your shooting or your sourcing. And again, it's incredibly fun and all of the skills that you're practicing are transferable on the ice. So two of our favorite tools to use, especially during the summertime or even when you're just out having a barbecue. We've done countless videos of these. We'll post some down below in the video description. Make sure you check them out. One that we shot in central London and also one that we filmed in Belgium and in the Netherlands. As the list draws to a close, of course, we're not going to be forgetting one of the most obvious ones. And that's something to shoot at. A lot of players like to use goals. The reason I'm not a big fan of hockey goals like the Reebok or the Windwells is because they have crossbars. If you're in a garden or shooting outside the front of your house and you hit that crossbar, we've all done it. That puck just flies. I've cracked glasses, broken bits of my car, so I don't like them. What I prefer to use is a shooting top because it's a reinforced vinyl sheet that you can lay or hang from your garage or from a fence 
and it absorbs the impacts from the pucks. So it doesn't ricochet the pucks or cause them to bounce. It absorbs them and the pucks fall nice and neatly either in the pockets that are included in the net or it just falls right in front of the top, which makes it much, much safer to use in your garden, in the front of your house, especially if there's glass or cars around. But an important thing to mention is that not all of us like to buy goals or not all of us are able to buy them. We could live in countries or cities that don't have them available or we need to save up to be able to get them. Don't let this deter you from being able to shoot. You can use whatever you find. A lot of NHL players shot into things like waste bins, old fridges, washing machines with the doors taken off to work on their accuracy. So just be creative when you're shooting. Find something that looks like a net or something that you can put the puck into and use that if you don't have a goal or a top. The last one on the list is going to be something to stick handle around. Now there's a lot of products that you can buy out there, things like the X deviators or the sweet hands that create an object for you to stick handle in between. You can set up pucks, but the problem with that is if you hit one, you have to reset them, it can get quite annoying. So that's why these products come in handy. Now what we did last summer, we created what looks like or what best replicates an X deviator, but we made it from broken sticks and pucks. Now any ice rink will have broken sticks or any teams will be able to give you broken sticks if you don't have any. If you have an old stick that you don't want, you can also convert it into that and you can use this thing to stick handle pretty much anywhere that you are. It moves around just like the X Deviator, so you can create countless shapes to be able to stick handle the puck or the ball around. So it helps you work on your confidence, your stick handling ability from anywhere that you are. And of course, it's gonna be saving you a lot of money. Now, of course, there's countless products that you can use off the ice to train. If you think that we've missed any out, comment down below in the video description, let us know what they are, or if there's any new products that you think that we might check out or we should check out, let us know in the comment section down below. Before we finish this video, we want to say a big thank you to our sponsor of this video, which is Fisher. What we're going to be doing to celebrate the collaboration between us and Fisher is going to be giving away one of their brand new SX11 ice hockey sticks. Now, if you want to win one of these sticks, the details will be down below in the video description, so make sure you check that out. We're going to be giving it away on Facebook and also on Twitter, so make sure that you're following us on those social pages. The links will be down below in the video description. Don't miss out, we'll be giving away a free SX11 ice hockey stick to one of you lucky viewers. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Follow us on our social pages, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links will be down below. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, and take care till next time. Cross the canal over, and we're sourcing between the land and this uh, thing that we're floating on, and it's a lot of fun. You can use these things pretty much wherever you want. So we're gonna be showing you the pros and cons of both of these products to help you decide which one you'd prefer, and maybe to figure out which one's better than the other. It's gonna be an interesting one. Let's take a look.